Hi, my name is Landon Jennings and I'm an impact speaker for United Way. And this is my story. Imagine that you were a child or youth who was a victim of violence or abuse. Imagine that the accused was someone that you knew. Now imagine how this would impact your life course and your mental well-being. United Way, Waterloo Region, and communities ask the question, are you the one? Well, I am the one. Those feelings of despair, sadness, guilt, and shame was how my 14-year-old self felt 12 years ago. Grade nine is supposed to be a new and exciting experience for many. It's a time where many changes take place. You have new experiences, you make memories, and you start a new chapter of your life. My experience was different. During my first semester of high school, the world that I knew shattered in front of me. I remember being called out of class to the principal's office and having to share experiences that I tried to repress with the police, the school, and my family. My best friend slowly became a monster in front of my eyes as I was forced to replay images that I tried so hard to forget and share my story. Having the investigation happen in the school added significantly to my trauma. Rumors escalated, gossip spread, and I felt labeled, isolated, and alone. He was charged with aggravated assault, and more victims were identified. I am the one. When I was told that I had to be a witness at the trial, the world that I knew became a very uncomfortable place made it difficult to cope. I was a 14 year old girl who is now being exposed to the real world in a way that could not have been anticipated by anyone. It was at this point that I was put into contact with the Child Witness Center. And I finally felt like at a safe place to go, at a place where people understood what was happening to me. It was also where no judgment took place. I remember the first day that I was introduced to my caseworker at the center. I immediately felt welcome, safe, and accepted. She never asked me details about what happened to me or where I got to where I was today. She taught me about the court process and made me feel comfortable with the trial. When I wanted to know things that I didn't feel comfortable asking the police or my family or share with others, I felt okay asking my caseworker. It was my safe place, my shattered world. I am the one. For years, I tried to repress the traumatic experience that I went through. I avoided counselors, psychologists, and assistance from my friends and family. I just wanted all the dark memories to go away, and I wasn't ready to open up. This went on for years. I managed to make it through high school and was accepted into the University of Waterloo in an environmental degree one that I specifically chose to be as far away from my trauma as I could. In my second year at the University of Waterloo, I experienced an episode of post-traumatic stress, which was later diagnosed by school psychologists, along with depression and generalized anxiety disorder, which I still live with to this day. I went from being a straight A student to not showing up to my classes and not completing any of my coursework. I took time off and the university gave me the break and support that I needed for eight months. During this time, I reflected back on my experience and I ended up reaching out to the Child Witness Center, wanting to give back to an organization that helped me so much in one of the darkest days of my life. This experience changed me. I was able to see how much a difference this organi organization made in my life still being my safe place to go, and I was able to begin giving back to the Child Witness Center, who gave me so much hope in my midst of despair. I am the one. I went back to school to pursue a degree in sociology and legal studies. I became more involved in the community, volunteering at the Sexual Assault Support Center, the Child Witness Center, and also got involved on campus within my department, all while working part-time. One of my proudest accomplishments during my undergraduate degree 
was that during my role as the Vice President of Education for the Legal Studies Society, I created a roundtable style networking event for students interested in pursuing careers within the vulnerable sector. With a little bit of help from our Career Action Center and some creative advertising, the event was very successful and still runs to this day. By the end of my degree, I graduated with distinction. I was accepted into multiple graduate studies programs and I developed amazing connections. I ended up coming back in January 2018 to pursue my master's degree in sociology and I've been working on campus since July 2019 in fundraising at St. Paul's University College affiliated with the University of Waterloo. I am the one. Many people go through traumatic experiences every day and without organizations like the Child Witness Center I wouldn't be here to share my story with you today. United Way gifted over $65,000 to the center last year. This gift came from a series of similar campaigns that organizations like United Way run throughout the year. Without support, children like myself would not have proper care needed to guide them throughout the court process. Today, the Child Witness Center is growing, and now donations help to fund the Child and Youth Advocacy Center, where children not only receive guidance throughout the court process, but have connections to counselors, police, and other helpful services under one roof. Today, I share my experience as a story of hope. My story illustrates how involvement with our campaign can assist someone within the community like myself in overcoming negative experiences and reaching their full potential. Despite this, my story is just an example. United Way funds multiple organizations that helps many people within our community, like Horizon Family Community and Services, KW Counseling, KW Accessibility, the Multicultural Center, and the Food Bank, just to name a few. Without support that I received in the community, I would not be able to tell others today in a similar situation that they aren't alone and that things can get better. That what happened to them does not have to define who you are or who you're capable of being. Negative experiences can be used to help others in a positive way. The Child Witness Center helped me see this and now working in a role in fundraising right now on campus, I can see the full circle of community support and generosity and how that can help people reach their full potential. Yes, I was the one who went through this horrific experience. And today I am the one that's sharing this story. And much more importantly, I'm the one whose experiences can show how organizations like United Way can help people reach their full potential. Are you the one that can help? Thank you.